Hey Hooper, it's Deanne Love here. Welcome to day four of your 30 days in flow. Each day we are taking some randomly selected tricks and putting them together to create a flow session. Each day is completely new. And if you go over to learn.hooplovers.tv, you can get the free 30 days in flow where you have playlists and prompts and techniques and extras every single day. Okay, so for today, our four tricks that we're putting together to create a sequence is a side weave, a twister, variations coming, maybe you already know them, uh, pulsing or popping isolations, and a linear isolation. So let's break those down, and then we're going to put on the theme or the technique today, which is open. So if we can stay open to new learning, perhaps that's also a physical theme, if we can keep our chest, our body, our heart open to all of these moves, which is great because these side weaves are a perfect way to open through. Now, a forwards weave, a backwards weave generally goes on your left and right side, but for a side weave, we can start at the front and we're going to lead with the thumb. So, our train tracks are now at the front of our body and the back, opening up through the shoulder if that feels good for you and dropping the elbow. Of course, there are always two directions. You might like to raise your elbow and this is really going to be great practice to set you up for twin weaving. So definitely try this in your second hand as well. So from a side weave, we're going to go into a twister. There are very many variations, but essentially, any time that you can twist the hoop could be a twister. <laughs> now, I am aware that we are often inside learning. So here is a variation from a side weave. You can do these big extension twisters if you like with a long arm, but you can also keep your elbow bent and still get the same effect. So from a side weave, if it's in your right hand, you are going to twist your thumb towards your body, but you can keep your elbow bent and this will definitely soften as well. So as you're doing the side weave, when it comes up in front of your face, you're going to twist your hoop, thumb towards your head and then down. So it's almost like you're doing a weave, but you're keeping it in your front plane. So notice twist, 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 thumb is down, scoop. Is your arm getting tired already? <laughs> Do you want to bring your whole entire body into it? Well, let's keep going. And at any point you can totally swap hands if you like. If you're very dominant on one side, you can use this on your other hand. But our third trick in this sequence today is the pulsing or the popping isolations. So your hand is going to be on the outside from doing that twister anyway. So what you're going to do is drop the hoop down, have your hand at 12, and it's like you're painting a V. So you go down in the middle, up to the side, down in the middle, up to the side. I feel like a long time ago on Instagram, I was like, how can you turn this move into this move? Of course, you're going to pour in your own creativity and awesomeness. So you can go from learning the foundations, knowing the brush strokes, and then shifting your weight, keeping the heart open, letting the head be heavy, using and connecting with the second arm, perhaps putting on one of those playlists and, and playing with it. Now from here, we're going to go into a linear isolation, which means that we need to get our hand on the inside of the hoop. So we can do that a whole bunch of ways, but we're gonna go for an easy transition here. And when you've finished all of your pulsing and popping and rocked out, you're going to rev your engine and bring the hoop up. So your hoop will go from downwards towards the floor with your knuckles on top and you're going to swing or as if you're kind of revving a motorbike and bring your hoop up and then pop it into position. So that can take a little bit of getting used to. You may need to take a step back or reposition. You can use two hands to help you if you like because we are going to do a full open, this is where the opening comes, linear isolation. Now, if you are in your right hand, you're going to take your arm across your body, 
have your toes facing towards me. When you get to that point, you're going to let the hoop do one circle and then bring it back in. This is the breakdown of it. Of course, if you know how to do this, you can be moving and grooving and putting this all together. So extend your arm across in the diagonal across the front of your chest. Try to keep your chest towards me if you can, but if not, it's totally fine to, to shift. You have to feel into your body and what it needs. Do one circle, and as you do that, bring your hand back to this first position. Out, circle, in. Out, circle, in. Now what we want to do, if that feels okay for you, is when we go out, we're going to bring our hand all the way across. So we've come from six, across, and open the chest. Down, across, open. Down, across, open. So center, across, and open. But we're going to take our hoop with us, and we want our hoop to stay on a line, a linear. So. It's okay if it doesn't do it in the beginning, but what we're going to do to help that is raise our elbow high as we take our hand across our face. The momentum of the hoop will push out to the side if you have enough flick, and then your thumb and your hand is going to, your palm will come towards your face. You're going to catch your hoop and extend out your hand. So six and open. Remember, elbow goes high. If it doesn't, if your elbow goes low, what's going to happen is you'll get this swinging effect. And we're trying to create this line as if your hoop was rolling along a table. So center, across, open, high elbow, palm goes down as it goes across your face. Okay, <laughs> can we remember all of that? Is this arm tired? Moving in a way that feels good for you, we have a side weave, twist thumb down, bring it to the center, pop, 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 rev across and open. Twist, thumb down, go back in. Twister, pop, this is a real funky one. Pop, 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 rev, side, open. Take your thumb down and you can continuously do a loop or a circuit of this. Don't forget the other side, give it some balance. And our theme, our technique is opening. Allow that to pour into your movement and your practice and your play just now in any way that feels right for you. Give yourself as much playtime as you need to open, to expand, to explore other variations using those four moves. You may want to start to combine them with the past few days of the 30 days in flow and start to find and create and explore your own pathways. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you tomorrow.